Look at those long clouds, big brother. I bet that means it's going to rain soon. Those aren't rain clouds, Sally. Those are vapor trails. It's a condensation trail left behind by a jet plane. A jet plane? That's right. My favorite kind is called a prop jet. You see, most planes have propellers that pull them through the air, and some planes have jet engines that are pushed through the air. But a prop jet plane has both, so it's pushed and pulled through the air. It also means prop jets can take off faster than other planes, and it gives them solid brakes when they land. Prop jets are versatile, and I bet they're fun to fly, too. Planes leave behind vapor trails because it's so cold that high above the ground. Vapor trails are formed of ice crystals that evaporate in the sky. So you see, Sally, those aren't rain clouds at all. Wow, everyone says you don't know anything, but you'll always be smart to me, big brother. Penmanship. The answer is 47. I before E except after. The Oregon Trail! Hey Franklin, did you read the chapter on left and right brain? I did. It was really interesting. I think I'm a left brain person. I'm sort of analytical. I like numbers and symbols. Shh. Uh -uh. I guess I'm a right brain person. I'm good at jigsaw puzzles. I like music and I think I have a pretty good imagination. Oh, you definitely do. Uh -uh. Yes, ma'am! The answer is Abraham Lincoln! And then, of course, we have the no-brain person. I heard that. Why don't you love me? Do I talk too much? Listen. I'll remain completely silent, and it will be there. In that silence, you will realize you love me. Is it working? I've had a profound realization about love. That it's just as simple as liking someone a lot? No, true love is about eliminating the competition. Who, is Schroeder interested in someone else? No, not someone, something. It's woman against piano. Women is winning. Women is winning. I can't believe you threw my piano into the sewer. Your piano was my competition. Now you have no choice but to love me. Now I have no choice but to climb down into the sewer. Schroeder? Hello, Charlie Brown. Lucy threw my piano in the sewer. It's raining. Get out of there before you drown. I couldn't hold him to the piano. The rain has probably swept it out to the river by now. Let's go. I'll bet Beethoven never had to put up with this. There it goes. Are we sure that was your piano? Uh, couldn't catch your piano, eh? It floated out to sea, huh? Oh well, if you were to play it now, you'd just strike a sewer note anyway. <laughs> Any other competition I should know about? Wait until Charlie Brown sees what I can do. Charlie Brown, look at this. Wow, that's amazing, Linus. Absolutely incredible. How do you do that? It's just a matter of air pressure and certain lip formations. Allow me to demonstrate, Charlie Brown. 
Wow! Hey, Lucy, watch the neat trick Linus can do. He's blowing square balloons. Are you out of your mind? What are you trying to do? Disgrace our family? Oh, the humiliation. Boy, she's really steamed, Linus. You'd better not blow any more square balloons. Now let's see you blow a round balloon. That's it, that's it. Round, round, round. I can't help it, Charlie Brown. I think I forgot how. Here, we'll see how you do with this kind. Hey everyone, Linus is blowing a rectangle balloon. Wow, do another one, Linus. Wow, what's this I hear? What did I tell you? Stop that right now. We'll be ridiculed. Run out of town. Give me a balloon. Now blow it round like this. Wow, an octagon. A diamond. I said blow it round like a normal person. A trapezoid. A hexagon. Stop it, I say. That's it. I'm giving you one more chance and this balloon had better be perfection. One rarely gets a chance to see such carefully rendered sarcasm. Happy New Year, Lucy. Does that make it so? Does your saying Happy New Year truly make it a Happy New Year? Not in my experience. <sighs> Everyone said things would get better. In the new year, things will change. But here we are, one full day into the new year and everything is exactly the same. You think maybe we got a used year? Probably. If the big Eastern Calendar Syndicate got their way, this will just be the same lousy year over again. You can't fight Big Calendar! Well, are you gonna make any New Year's resolutions? What? What are you insinuating? That I need to change? I'm fine just the way I am. Thank you very much. New Year's resolutions are scams, worthless. I don't have to improve. How could I improve? How, I ask you, how? I'm only asking because I'm planning to make some resolutions. Oh, well, that's different. I'm going to try and correct all my faults. All of them? Yes. In that case, you're in luck. Hmm? We've only got one year, so there's not much time. I've jotted down a list of your faults and all improvements you'll need to make. Good grief. We don't want to miss anything, so I am happy to help you categorize, itemize, and prioritize everything about you we need to change. You know, Charlie Brown, this may be a happy new year after all. New Year's resolutions are very important, especially for someone like you, Charlie Brown. First, we need to address your wardrobe. You worry me, Chuck. You've never once had the courage to approach this little red-haired girl yet you never stop talking about her. There are plenty of nice girls, Chuck. Maybe even some closer than you think. You could be right, I suppose. I know I am. There's a dance at my school this weekend. Really? I have a friend who loves to dance. I'll give him your phone number. Ugh, you never understand anything, Chuck. I don't even understand what it is I don't understand. I wonder who my date will be. I hope he's a good dancer and a sharp dresser. Hello. <sighs> This sure is some weird date Chuck got for me. He is polite, though. You sure can dance, Pigpen. What's your sign, Pigpen? And where did you go? That was the best dance ever, Pigpen. I've never had so much fun. Wow. Hello? Who's calling? It's 3 a.m. I can't sleep, Marcy. I'm in love. I hope you'll be very happy, sir. I'm going to write him a love letter first thing tomorrow. You can't do that, sir. He has to make the first move. 
I don't go in for all that traditional stuff. If I like him, I should tell him. Right, Marcy? Shh. I don't know what to write. Maybe I should listen to Marcy and let him make the first move. But then again, part of what makes me so charming is my go get him attitude. Oh, why can't romance be as easy as baseball?